Hello, so welcome so that you can work out this nice exponential equation. So let's now start with the solution. So on our solution, this one is what we have. So before we start with the solution, so make sure you watch this video up to the end. So now we have 6 to the power of m, then plus 6 to the power of m is equals to 36. So you can use this time to pause the video so that now you can be able to work out this maths problem and share with us the answers that you've you've got in working it out. So still, if you have another different method of working it out besides or apart from the ones that you are working out, so also remember to confirm with us by telling us in the comment section. So let's work it out very fast. So how do we go about it? So the first thing that you need to do is to factorize the equation. So here now, when you factorize, you shall have 6 to the power of m, then into bracket, so all of this, 1 plus 1, is equals to 36. So, meaning that 6 to the power of m, when we multiply with the number of inside the bracket, we shall end up with 6 to the power of m, plus 6 to the power of m. So here now we shall work out the number inside the bracket. So here now, 6 to the power of m, into bracket, 1 plus 1 is 2, is equals to 36. So let's now use that use 2 by dividing both sides by 2. So this side shall divide by 2, then this side is also 2. So 2 by 2 now shall cancel. So now we shall have 6 to the power of m. 6 to the power of m is equals to 2 year 1 to into 36 is 18. So it's equals to 18. So since we have 6 as, as the base, m as an index, then 18 as our number, it is difficult for us now to change 18 to the base of 6. So now we shall introduce the logs from both sides. So in this case, we shall now have the log of 6 to the power of m. So the log of 6 to the power of m is equals to the log of, of 18. So from here, uh, suppose we have the log of a to the power of p of b. So this one can also be written as uh, b, the log of, of a. So here now, 6 to the power of m shall also be written as m log 6. So m log 6 is equals to the log of 18. So thereafter now shall divide both sides by the log of 6. So this side also by the log of 6. So the log of 6 and the log of 6 shall cancel each other. So now our value for m is equals to the log of 18 all over the log of, of 6. So we haven't agreed that this one is the answer this one is not the, the answer so we shall now simplify the log of 18 all over the log of 6 by now working it out this way so when you simplify our m will be the log of 18 which can also be written as the log of 6 multiplied by 3 then all over the log of the log of 6 so assuming that we have suppose we have the log of uh, a b so this one can also be written as, as the log of a plus the log of, of b. So we can rearrange it by saying that our value for m, in this case, so m is equals to the log of 6 plus the log of 3 all over the log of the log of 6. So the next step is to divide both sides by the log of 6. So here now m is equals to, so the log of 6 all over the log of 6 then again plus the log of 3 all over the log of, of 6. So the log of 6 and the log of 6 shall cancel. So now our m, so our m is equals to 1 plus the log of 3 all over the log of, of 6. So we can rewrite the log of 6 by now saying that, okay, that now our m, the value for m, is equals to 1 plus so here now we shall have the log of 3 to the base of to the base of 6 so that now shall be our value for for m so if you worked it out and you've got it as as uh, this now you've worked it out you are right so let's now confirm and check if this answer is correct so what's what is our problem so let's now indicate our problem by saying that we had 6 to the power of m plus 6 to the power of m is equals to 36. So that was our problem. So the value for m we had got as, as m is equals to 
1 plus the log of of uh, 3 to the base of 6 so we are confirming by having this maths problem now so anywhere that we we happen to get to have m we are equating with 1 plus the log of 3 to the base of 6 so here now shall have 6 to the power of 1 plus the log of 3 to the base of 6 plus again 6 to the power of 1 plus the log of 3 to the base of 6 is equals to that 6 so in this case now we shall now have uh, 6 to the power of 1 so here 6 to the power of 1 then the plus shall now change to multiplication so we shall also have 6 to the power of the log of 3 to the base of 6 plus 6 to the power of 1 then the plus shall now change to multiplication here now we shall also have the log of the 6 to the power of the log of 3 to the base of 6 is equals to 30 36 so our next step is now to work it out correctly by now having 6 to the power of 1 is like working out 6 times 1 that is 6 then 6 now multiply by so the log to the base of 6 shall cancel with this 6 so now we shall remain with 3 so 6 times 3 then plus this so uh, this other side 6 to the power of 1 is 6 then the 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 multiplication so the log to the base of 6 shall now cancel with the 6 now it shall remain with 3 is equals to 36 so here now 6 multiplied by 3 is 18 uh, so here now we shall have 18 now plus 18 which is equals to that 6 and what is 18 plus 18 so 18 plus 18 that is that 6 is equals to that 6 so means that we are very very correct when you conclude by saying that the value for m in this case so we shall write it nicely by saying that m is equals to 1 plus the log of 3 to the base of 6 so that's this one now shall be the value for for m so so this one now is is verified so we shall we have already verified this answer by confirming it uh, loudly so if in case you have another way of working it out please don't uh, don't hesitate to share with us that answers that you've got on the comment section because this maths problem we can have several several methods of working it out provided that we that we use the correct method and arrive at the correct answer so let's stop there so if you really enjoyed working it out with us please don't forget to subscribe to our channel like and also be part of our community by subscribing so let's stop there and see you in our next video